Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back. This message is for the 9th of February, 2021. So, from the point of stillness, one becomes free to allow. Okay, let's see what's going on for today. The balance, the justice in it all. It then it then becomes very clear, very clear that not needing to see what the future holds or what we're doing in this present moment, we begin to go in the flow, the Zen. We released yesterday, we released the fears that external influences that have been placed upon us. We finally have been freed to just allow and know. It's a knowingness that we don't truly have control. on how it's going to look, on how it's going to reveal itself in whatever fashion. We, we don't question that we allow it to just take place. It's then reaching that altitude, right? It's like, it's like finally getting to Mount Everest, you know, where you get to that peak of stillness and knowing, and then no longer does the fear hold you back, right? We see the light. We see the passion that's ignited from within and that we understand that the passion of life is balanced from within. We understand that now. We get it. We get that we don't control our terrain. We get that we allow that torch, the torch to be gifted, that has been gifted upon us to also be gifted to all the generations to come. But it starts with us first. So if we can get to that point of Mount Everest, that peak of understanding to allow things to happen and unfold without needing to know, and only going with the passion that lies within. The world is your oyster. We get to the peak. We get to that level of ascending understanding. We become the eagle. We become the lion. We become the deer and the antelope and every other force of nature is what truly one becomes when one knows. The time is now. There is no time to waste, to get settled in your life of what was once the life that we've all come to know that has broken down in order to rebuild us to this level of we become the sanctuary of our lives. The greatest gift we could give ourselves is to allow whatever to unfold, to unfold, to reach that mountaintop, that peak of understanding that what will be, will be. And it will come to us. It will, it'll just come to you. 
You won't have to try. You don't have to try when you know. You don't question why. But the time is now for all of humanity to get on the same page, to commune together as we are all connected, to, to share our light, the torch of truth, to all who seek, to all who, who again, like I said yesterday, to all who we come in contact with, Light the way for others as you have now come to understand what we're here, all here to do, what we're all here to be called upon for the purpose of. becoming every element, experiencing every element within Mother Earth and balancing it out. Balancing out fire with water, water with earth. How does it all mesh together? Knowing the connection that we have to Mother Earth connects us to the all, but to the all in the sense of we are, understand the aliveness that Mother Earth is. Mother Earth is alive. The trees, the plants, the flowers, they grow just like we do. So now we understand that connection. And we share that upon the world and to others. And we soar. And as we soar, we connect with the highest levels and peaks of existence. We know we're all stars, don't we? We know we all have a purpose, don't we? We know that if we can learn how to, through our wounds, how to balance Two things, twofold. How to balance through the healing of the wounds, how to balance mind, body, and soul coming into alignment with spirit. The healing of our wounds, thank you. And also, that instills a balance within us also of how we can fluctuate our emotions through the elements of the earth that we are, water, earth, fire, air, to understand how we can now learn to juggle. It's a game. Make it a game. If you're sad, put some music on and you, you rise, you level up. If you're studying, start studying about, start studying about you. Not only about, like I said yesterday, about you being a star seed and or light worker, which we all are, right? But also understanding how you can juggle the elements within you to change its alchemy, to change things up. There it is. <laughs> Thank you. We can be sad one minute and happy the next. Are you kidding me? You know we can. It's by what we think and funny that there's no swords here, but who shows up in the end? It's how you think. What you think manifests into what it is tangible. Think and it becomes. You can make this a game. Look at how you see life. Use it as a game, right? One minute, one minute you're, let's just say, one minute you're scared to move 
out of your comfort zone because that's all you've known and that's all you've been told. But then you get the call, the call to rise up, to step up, to balance your life because now you get the call that, wow, we're all wounded. We all have things that we have to heal from. So now the call is to heal ourselves so that we can rise above it all. In the meantime, as we are playing with the elements of within ourselves of Mother Earth, we get so emotionally wrapped up in what we've been so in our comfort zone and or on autopilot. This is sometimes we just get on autopilot. It's like monotone. You ever hear people, I don't know why I'm going off on this, but I am. You, do you ever hear people sometimes where they speak, they don't rise, their raise their voice, their voice doesn't rise or doesn't go lower. It just is a monotone. People get so comfortable being in autopilot that some of us don't hear the call to break free and to heal from that which we have clearly been tainted, have clearly been used to believe that we're not going to ever get out of this fear-based mentality. But what happens? We're now living in a time where spiritual revolutions change the whole story. The narrative is different now. The, re the reversal of this ego is to drop this of what you think you need to be, what you think you need to hear, what you feel you've been told and lied to and Everything that you've been told is a lie, so now let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. Let's take the torch of our own truth. This is our own truth. Each one of us has the element of air and the light within to shine bright and light the way forward of our higher truth. We now have and hold the torch. So use it. Speak out. Speak to others. We talked about telling your story. Tell your story. Tell your kids the truth. Tell your friends the true story of some of the wounding that needed healing. It will heal you. And it will heal your children. And if you don't speak to your children, it's fine. Find it within to write about it. Talk about it. Talk to a BFF. Talk to God. Conversations with God. Hello. Right? When we get to our, the lowest point in our lives, you know it. You know this to be true. When life hits us with so much of endings, so much to heal from, where do we go? Where do we go? We get on our knees and we pray, don't we? Or some of us don't get on our knees, but we pray nonetheless. And then we become truly what we always knew that we are. We remember, we remember, this is remembrance. We remember what we're here to do. We remember that we need to heal. We remember that we only, we only have ourselves to believe in, to resonate with. Only resonate with your higher self. Because we got out of all that fear-based crap of autopilot that they want, they you know they want you to believe. They want you to stay like this, fear-based.
But guess what? We're not doing that. People are waking up and rising up. Waking up, rising up to carry the torch of our lineage. It's time to take that torch and carry it to new heights and go and look within, go within. You know that once you finally go within, because why? You've been hit hard. We all have. We all hit, get hit hard, and then we're either praying, prom making promises. You know, how many times have you said, oh my God, if, if you please help my mother, I promise I'll never do bad things again. I won't lie. I promise I won't tell another lie. Just save my mother, father, grandparents, whatever. You know, you get the gist. Then you're then you're praying and making these these whimsical, I hear, promises to spirit. Someone's dying, someone has cancer, someone has this, someone has that, covid, blah whatever. C19. Are you kidding me? Do you think that's the only time that we should converse with God? I think not. And God is not external. God is within you, every morsel of your body, mind, and soul. Take heed now and rise above the fact of knowing that your material world that you manifest, that you're manifesting right here, right now, is based upon and manifesting as such, alchemizing every element in the universe, alchemizing every energy in the universe, rising above all of the stuff that we've been led to believe and start believing in your own stuff yeah, we've talked about this before, but guess what? This came out in the reading. Spirit wants us to know that if you already have this knowledge, bring it forth to others, share it, manifest, and start playing with alchemizing your emotions. How to alchemize your emotions. How to go from your head center to your heart center, to manifesting in the real illusionary world, you know, Earth 3D, right? How to rise above and use all the tools, using all the tools that Mother Earth has given us to alchemize, like I said, and rise above our own inferiorities, our own insecurities, our own fears. Now we have got to rise up. The time is now to rise up right here. Start alchemizing, use it as a game. Use it as a game. Manifest as a game. Start with a thought. This is like a recipe. Put your thought into what you want to manifest. We're going to put manifestation above the horizon. Above the horizon. Take the thought. Sprinkle it with a lot of passion, intention, massive intention. Only that intention of the heart, however. 
Only the intention of the heart shall we manifest what truly is going to become us. Give us peace. Give us that which we seek. Start from scratch, start researching, start learning about your natal chart and how the moon affects your feminine nature. It affects your cycles, all of our cycles, masculine and feminine. How does that work? Start asking questions, question everything. And then let your heart be your guide. And then you become this beautiful peacock. Why? Because you're sitting in your own power of heart. Understanding how the world turns, literally. How the world turns and goes back and forth in your life. And how you can do so here with all the elements of the universe. Where is our water? Right here. Our water is when we finally get off of that autopilot mode. Our call is to heal. So we start with what's hurting your body, what's hurting your mind and or body, right here. What hurts your mind and body? Here's the call from heaven to manifest. It starts with the thought, the thought of, wow, what? Healing that wound. Let me put this over here for a minute. The thought of healing the wound. And it starts. That's how it starts. It's all emotional. It's all in our head. Emotions. It's what we tell ourselves. It's what scars have been, have been projected onto the body. And then after that healing starts, the healing starts in this process. Then we come to realize, wow. I really do need work. I need to work on myself. Otherwise, it's going to be the same old, same old. Walking through life on autopilot. Your choice. Then we start realizing that we need to heal our bodies and our mind. It all starts together, mind and body. And then we look at it from this perspective of we have the torch we have the uh, the passion and the light within us to do the healing it's all there you see the light the light and the light we are stars and we are all healing we are on this earth to understand how the mind and the emotions are connected are connected through the passion of life through the passion of our inner workings. We have water, we have air, and we have fire, all coming together to start the process of healing the heart and what is tangible in our lives. The tangible part, our matter. The, the matter is the vessel, the 3D vessel, the body, the 3D vessel, the mind through the heart center of passion and love, compassion, devotion, honesty, loyalty to self, to get all these things worked through all the elements of the universe. And then you can play with it. You play with the elements, each element. How does it, how can you juggle, for lack of a better word, juggle each of the elements that we have within us to extract all of that 
to become our external world, what we see, who we touch, who we love. The call is now to do that, is to manifest and start alchemizing all of the elements so that if you have a wound that, that you need to heal, it comes and it starts from the emotional body. Then it, it is connected to your mind, how you think, how you feel, your beliefs, how you grew up thinking from childhood and not the inner workings of one's mind, body, and soul becomes the heart of everything, is the heart, the heart is everything. And then you take all of these elements and you juggle and work together, right? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. And you manifest something amazing and tangible, which is healing, which is speaking, telling your story, healing, telling your story, telling it with such grace and innocence, being humbled by what you have and are healing from, what you have gone through and what you are healing from, brings you back down to what? After we get off of autopilot, we get on our knees or and or we just have a conversation with the heavens, our angels, our guides, God, all-encompassing. And we get very grounded. Healing grounds us back down to where we need to be humble again. The innocence, we need to feel that innocence again. That innocence within our bodies, minds, and soul. And then we can manifest that which we now understand what our body is made of and capable of to incorporate that not only for your world to change, but for others' world to change. And we take these and we put them all together so that we can soar and get back to a balanced mind-body-soul connection instead of being on autopilot from what remains. We're rebuilding, like we mentioned yesterday, we're rebuilding in order to start again. It is our call, it is our duty and responsibility to rebuild yourself once again, to rebuild from the ground up with passion, with love. I'm here, honorability, responsibility, and detach from everything and focus only on yourself and building yourself back up. It's time. It's time to shed all of this. However long it takes, it may take lifetimes, decades, whatever it takes, we're getting out of this. This does no, this has no place within and or without in one's life. That's what you're healing from. And now we're rising and being, being still. We don't need to see anything. Once you play with all of, we alchemize. That's what I mean by play. Once you alchemize, you take one emotion, thought, passion, manifestation at a time, and you go over again and again. It's the circle of life until you heal. 
<laughs> pointing out that <laughs> you know what I'm saying. And once you know, once you know that you're making headway, how do you know? You become peaceful. You become peaceful. You become part of the all and you know it. You look outside and you see those trees and they're really breathing. You see those flowers blossom, blossoming and you know it took all the elements of to make that beautiful rose blossom. It takes all the stars at night for each one to shine. Right? It's the energetic force of love, how everything works. So that's our recipe. So remember how the recipe works so that you can work together with all of the elements and alchemize your life and manifest what it is that you want in your life. Okay, have a great day. Thank you, thank you, everyone for all your loving support.